Okay, so uh, I'm going to do a uh, tips on lead soloing um, over the next uh, few weeks. And so I'm going to start with the most uh, important aspect of uh, playing the guitar, and that's making your guitar sing. So let's jump right into it. So I'm going to start with uh, the, a couple of notes that are my favorite. Uh, it's a favorite place for me for E minor. We're going to be looking at E minor. So and we'll also be going up to our uh, minor pentatonic scale in this area. Okay, but um, right now we're going to be using these notes right here for an example. Um, so what I how I do is I put string uh, on string three, on fret number nine I put my second finger, and then I put my first finger on uh, string um, two, uh, eighth fret, and then third finger string two, tenth fret, and I'm just it's just a simple riff. But what I want to talk about is think about your singing it like think like you're going na <clears throat> na na na, so you're going na na na. See, so if you play your guitar like you think you're singing it, you're going to get that musical sense to it. So, um, so we're going to talk about that. So, um, now, um, there's a lot of ways to, um, to uh, play this particular riff. And the reason why I'm playing it there, um, because um, I like the, uh, the, the sound um, of the uh, uh, non-wound strings. But up here it'd be like this in your first position so so um, and how I get that vibrato now that's a, that's the next most important thing I get the vibrato by doing a uh, like it's like turning a doorknob kind of is the best way I can describe it you, you see I'm, I'm pivoting off of the thumb back here now some people do vibrato like this Okay, um, uh, Steve Vai said uh, once he does this to show off, he'll do like this, he'll go. And he won't even do this, he just, he just moves his whole hand like this. If you look, if you watch, you'll see Steve Vai do this sometimes. And he, uh, I seen in an interview, he said he just does that to show off, so uh, I stole that from him. Okay, so now, so, so this is what we got. So we got, um, think of it like you're singing and vibrato. Okay, and now that same riff could be played here in the, uh, like, the typical first position, uh, E minor pentatonic, and I'm starting on my root note here on string four this time, uh, fret 14, and then 12 and 14 here on the third string, so. See, even though I'm not singing it, I'm thinking it in my head. And like you become the note. And that's how it's done. And so now um, the next step is bending. For uh, uh, those of you who know about bending, I'm going to look here at the 12th fret. And so we're going to bend um, this note, your G, up to your um, A. So that's uh, fret 15 to fret 17. And then on the second string, we bend our um, uh, D note to the E, which is our root. So now watch this. I'm going to bend this. And then I'm going to go to the, this uh, D note and bend to the root. So I'm going to talk more about that and the uh, art of bending, which is going to be my next video I'm going to shoot tomorrow. Um, but I'm going to show you now. That's pretty much the se secret. And, and Jimi Hendrix says that um, uh, the only way you can make your guitar cry out is with a bend. And then I end up with vibrato. See, so that's the art of making your guitar sing, to be able to go and, and feel the note. And then, and then, so you got plenty of time to shred and do everything else. So let's say you wanted to start a solo like that. See, so um, shredding's good, melodic's good, everything's good if you put it all together correctly. So. Uh, uh, Hit your notification button because I'm going to be doing this series for a while. And we're going to keep on talking about everything from uh, hammer, uh, two-hand hammer-ons like uh, Eddie Van Halen, um, uh, 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 
arpeggios like Ingbe. Uh, we're going to scratch all the surface being melodic like uh, Dave Gilmore. And so we're going to talk about all that stuff. So stay tuned and subscribe.